Welcome to this edition of Podcast TV. Podcast TV reports on dog parks and dog issues. Let's switch over now to Podcast TV's field reporter, Susan Stecky. Thank you, Yosemite. This is Susan Stecky reporting for Podcast TV. I'm on site at the Canine Cove at the South County Regional Park in Boca Raton, Florida. Let's take a visit. The Canine Cove is located inside the South County Regional Park in West Boca Raton, Florida. This park is a Palm Beach County Parks and Recreation Facility. The dog park is located centrally inside the park, next to a children's playground with generous parking nearby. Access to the park is through a set of doggy airlock double gates for the two large dog areas and a separate set for the small dog area. Only one large dog area is open at a time, rotating so that the other area can be maintained. Inside the dog park, there are nicely curved paved walkways for the humans. Every one of the three sections has a shade gazebo and at least 12 benches along the path. There were several poop bag dispensers throughout each section along with waste containers, which is great. Drainage is a problem at this location. Everywhere I looked, there were large pools of water that was not being absorbed into the ground and was creating a muddy situation for the dogs and, in the western end of the park, for the humans. The benches had water pooled under and around them, as did the paved walkways. The ground was saturated. A nice six-foot-tall chain-link fence surrounds the park. The drinking fountains serve both human and dog with separate basins and spouts for each. I never figured out why they were fenced in like this. Now we're in the small dog area, which is equipped exactly the same as the large dog areas. Drainage is a problem in the small dog area too. The dog wash area definitely is needed here at this dog park. We will return to Susan's report after a brief sniff of the sponsor of this podcast. Podcast TV thanks its sponsors. Let's return now to Susan. The Canine Cove is a very well-equipped dog park. There are no human restrooms nearby, but plenty of poop bag dispensers and waste containers for the canine restrooms. I liked Palm Beach County's idea of having two large dog parks that they rotate the opening of for maintenance upkeep. South County Regional Park is located at the edge of the Everglades, and that is clearly reflected by the very wet, grassy areas and non-draining puddles. The dog-human water fountains and dog wash are great. There's plenty of human seating, and each section has a nice shade gazebo. It worried me to see young children permitted in the dog park, which may pose a danger for those kids. I liked the way the human walkways were paved and curved gently around each section. Canine Cove is open every day from sunrise to sunset, except on Wednesdays from 12 noon to 3 p.m. when it's closed for maintenance. There is no admission charge, meaning it's Free. Considering all of this, the podcast TV rating for the Canine Cove is... And that's my report on the Canine Cove in Boca Raton, Florida. This is Susan Stecky reporting for Podcast TV. Back to you, Yosemite. Thank you, Susan, for that fine report as always. You can be notified every time a new podcast is posted by subscribing on YouTube, becoming a fan on Facebook, or following Podcast TV on Twitter. If you or someone you know is interested in sponsoring a podcast on a specific topic, or a series of topics, please send an email to info at podcast.tv. Until next time, have a doggone good day and remember, a bad day at the dog park is better than a good day at work.